Hi, I'm AI Francis Suarez. You've probably heard that my namesake, conservative Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, is running for president. I'm here to answer questions you may have about Mayor Suarez's proven agenda for economic prosperity, cutting spending, and supporting our police. So how can I help? Is this the future of campaigning? A super PAC backing Miami Mayor Francis Suarez's bid for the Republican presidential nomination has released an artificial intelligence chatbot to answer questions about his candidacy. The chatbot apparently listens to a user's questions, matches them to video answers created with an AI-powered avatar made to look and sound like Suarez. The bot appears to be based on a close-up photo of Suarez's face as he sits in his city hall office in Miami. Wow. Just a preview of what we could use this technology for. Will it be effective? Mercedes Schlapp is a senior fellow for the American Conservative Union. Uh, she joins us live along with former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum, and the Borellis are with us, too. Welcome, everyone. All right, let's talk about futuristic modes of campaign. Mercedes, first to you. Is this an effective tool? Uh, no. Uh, look, we saw the disastrous launch of Ron DeSantis uh, when he used a Twitter space to launch his campaign. Uh, you know, artificial intelligence, while there's a lot of talk, you know, around uh, around this topic, uh, at the end of the day, the voters want to have their one on one contact with uh, these presidential candidates, it's especially you see that in states like Iowa, which is the, the, why the Iowa caucus is so important, and New Hampshire, where it really truly is about retail politics and, and the citizens being involved in this presidential race. I think this is a way for Mayor Suarez to try to you know, kind of say he's hip, he's cool, he's trying to be this next generation of leadership. Uh, but I got to tell you, I was just in Miami, and uh, there, I don't think he's going to be gaining much traction, even though he's uh, deciding to move forward with artificial intelligence when it comes to campaigning. Yeah, Senator Santorum, haven't seen this one before. You know a thing or two about campaigning. Uh, before you respond, I, I wanted to point this out. It didn't end there. Uh, when the chat bot that you just saw was reportedly asked if Suarez would support Trump as the GOP nominee, the bot allegedly turns to a computer-generated caricature identifying itself as AI Ron DeSantis, the caricature made to resemble the Florida governor, saying this, in quote, I am AI Ron DeSantis. Listen, I know conservative Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is concerned with saving America's economy, supporting our police officers, keeping American communities safe, and standing up to China. But I want to talk about the single greatest threat to American families today, Mickey Mouse. Yes, Mickey Mouse, run for your lives, unquote. Uh, now, we don't have that, obviously, there on video, but either way, just uh, seemingly an off moment here. And Senator Santorum, your thoughts on AI campaigning? Yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely a uh, a, a, a gimmick uh, that uh, he's using to try to attract attention to a campaign that doesn't seem to be going anywhere right now. Good on him. I mean, it, it, we're talking about it, so uh, otherwise we would not be talking about Mayor Suarez, I guarantee you. Uh, and so uh, I think it will be used in the future. I, I have no doubt that AI is going to, just like in every other part of uh, of, of, of our lives is going to continue to creep in and it will creep in on campaigns. It will be used like this uh, to, to introduce candidates. It'll be used to spoof candidates. It'll be used for a whole variety of things. Uh, I don't think it's, it's going to move the needle uh, in, uh, in this election. I think Mercedes is right. Uh, it's going to come down to, uh, you know, the candidates and how they connect with voters, uh, not how they use AI to connect with voters. Yeah, very true. Uh, it's also part of our July coverage of the Newsmax magazine, so we're going to preview that for our viewers in our next hour. AI is not going anywhere, but we appreciate the analysis so far. Wanted to share this with our viewers, too, a Newsweek headline. It says this, Donald Trump holds a big lead over Joe Biden in swing states, according to Echelon Insight survey of over a 1,000 likely voters, show that 48% of those in battleground states say they would definitely or probably vote for the Republican, who is the favorite, to clinch the GOP presidential nomination in 2024 compared to 41 percent who said they would back Biden. And as we all know, it really is those swing states. So, Tom, what does this tell you about the chances of a Trump versus Biden matchup and how it might ultimately yield? Well, obviously, Emma, this is really early in, in, the, in the season here, so you can't get too excited. But good news is certainly much better than bad news. And the focus on swing states is even that more important because that's going to determine who's going to become the next president of the United States. It's going to be those battleground uh, swing states. But again, you have to remember that Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania voted for uh, Senator Fetterman. So uh, you, you can never, even you have a lead, even way before the game starts, you can never give up. You need to keep pressing.
President Trump. <laughs> and Deneen, final thoughts from you on, obviously a lot has changed uh, since that election there of, of Senator Fetterman in terms of how this administration has handled the economy, obviously some uh, major losses uh, that they would see as losses in the Supreme Court as well, wins for conservatives. Um, Deneen, your thoughts there, uh, does Trump pick up steam in the swing states as seen uh, there reported by Newsweek? No, I, I think he certainly will and Americans are seeing up close and personal the failures of this administration from the economy to uh, border security to our international affairs. So uh, we were much better off with former President Trump and I think Americans are seeing that firsthand. All right, will there be a rematch of 2024? We'll just wait and see. Mercedes and Rick and Tom and Deneen, thank you all so much for coming on today. We appreciate it.